Now on to compound words, which is a very important part of Mandoa. You can combine theoretically any amount of words together to create a new meaning. For example, we have Beskar Gum. This means armor. However, it is a compound word. Beskar means iron or metal in general, usually. And gum means skin. Them together, you have Beskar Gum, iron skin. Your compounds may need interpretation, but they should usually be understood. If they're not well understood, then either you made a really creative one that you need to explain because of how creative it is, or you made a really bad one, which you need to explain because of how bad it is. And that's actually why I love compounds so much. Not the bad part, the creative part. is because you can be as creative as you want. And this helps make Mandoa an excellent language for song and poetry. All right, here's your last bit of grammar for now, but it's pretty important. is word order. It matters because many words are implied by word order and left out, which I mentioned earlier, how you can imply the U in commands, like you can do in English, but in Mandoa, you can imply a lot more words, and it's pretty nice because it makes it for fewer syllables being used, which can be used elsewhere. Order is basically similar to English, but it's somewhat more flexible. Not really in the order of the sentence, but of like the words themselves, like in compound words and whatever. The order doesn't matter what you compound those words together. Usually, as long as you understand, it's fine. Descriptor words, like adjectives and adverbs, usually become before what they modify, like in English, but sometimes it can be afterwards, like in Romance languages. Like, for example, in Vodayan, the song, Vodayan means brothers all. In English, we would say all brothers, or we could say brothers all, but that would be borrowing from Romance languages. In Romance languages, they say brothers all. And in Mandoa, you can say brothers all. However, usually you say all brothers. But since Vodayan is poetry or lyrical, then you can say whatever you want, really, as long as everyone understands. And really, you can rearrange things however it goes. And that goes to the same for your implied words. People should understand what you're implying for it really to be a good place to leave out a word. Subject should always come first, like in English, and your verb and object should come after, although they can be, again, it's really, it's kind of flexible, but you should just make sure that everyone understands. I said that a lot by now. That's the most important part, because grammar is all about understanding. If you're not completely grammatical, but everyone understands, then it's fine. I mean, that's what I think anyway. Now for an example about word order and dropping words. You have ni partaili gar. That means I know you. If you drop the gar, it might be confusing about what it is you know, just I know. But if someone is talking to you and it makes sense in the conversation, like the context, then you can just say I know. Or you could even say kartaili, just know. Or kartaili gar, know you, depending on what it is. You could be understood. And in commands, it's the same, just kepa, not you kepa, right? It's, you don't need the you because it's implied and everyone understands. And now for the most important word to drop, which is kuyir or to be. You almost never use to be in Mandoa. If you wanted to say, I am a warrior, you just say, I warrior. The... Am and the A are both implied. You say, ni verd, I the warrior. You don't put to be in, and you don't put the article for warrior. You just put I warrior. No am, no A, and usually no the. You can put them in in your lyrics again. That's perfectly fine for your poetry because that's what you want to do. But for most often ordinary speech, you will not put in your articles or your to be verb. It's always dropped. I mean, it's a suggestion, but follow it unless it's for your poetry. Okay, guys, that was a lot. I'm sorry, but it was necessary. You should have a much better understanding of Mandoa now if you did not already understand it before. 
may have even picked up a few words and which will lead into the next video which will be all about your words and phrases which i'm sure most of you have, are watching this series for and so stay tuned see you later